Oh, behave! That probably wasn't the best Austin Powers impression you've heard on, on any scale, but I'll get to that in a minute. What I did today, I worked a lot on the computer, but I also worked a lot at this couch. I finished the cube. There it is. Isn't it beautiful? Not really, I guess. It's just kind of a pile of cards. Uh, the way I did it, and I'm sure there's a million ways to do it, I devised this little, um, this little chart where I, I had creatures and then other cards and their mana costs and I made sure all colors got at least one planeswalker and in addition to the planeswalker they get 64 cards in the color and that comes out to 65 per color times 5 for 325 cards then I put in 20 artifacts and 20 um, non-basic land for a total of 365 cards I'm sure some of you are interested in the actual list of cards that I have in the cube, and I will get that to you at some point. Um, in fact, I think I may uh, highlight the cube and its formation and how exactly I made it, etc., etc., on Daily Pack. Not not 100% sure, but if you're not already subscribed to Daily Pack, go ahead. Even though I'm I'm not getting packs uh, up every day because there are no packs, um, I, I I do plan on continuing putting some sort of content up there, even if it is sparse. The other thing I'm going to start out with is, if you're watching this right now, it is probably past noon Eastern. If it is, you should be watching the GTA 5 trailer. I would watch it, but right now I'm stuck in yesterday. But I assure you that tomorrow, at noon, when the trailer comes out, I will be there. I will be hitting refresh until it comes out. And the last thing I'll say before I get to the meat and potatoes of this vlog is thank you. Thank you so much for yesterday just jumping right on uh, the whole voting thing. The spot was actually in second place before I put the video up. The spot is very much right now in first place. That is because of you guys. You can actually see the difference. Please keep it up. You guys are so awesome. But that's not the only thing I have to thank you guys for. It's actually been a day or two, but I reached 5,000 subscribers on Steven Plays. Thank you. You guys are awesome, and I really I, I couldn't do any of this without your support. Now, as you probably guessed from the title of my terrible Mike Myers impression, today is about Austin Powers. For those who are not aware, and I don't believe any of you would be aware, I have never seen an Austin Powers movie until two days ago. On the last day that the meal was with us, we discovered that there was a family video here in Columbia. Uh, for those who aren't aware, family video is a um, blockbuster rival, except family video makes sense. You can rent movies for a dollar. So we went there with a meal, and we found all three Austin Powers movies, and we rented all three for three dollars. That night, after we dropped a meal off at the airport, we had dinner, and while we were eating dinner, we watched the first Austin Powers movie. It was pretty good. Last night was Halloween. How did we celebrate? We watched the second Austin Powers movie, and tonight, we finished up the trilogy, well, trilogy for now, with uh, the third movie, Goldmember. Now, some of you might be saying, how on earth did you live on this planet for 22 years and not see an Austin Powers movie? I don't know. I really have no clue. In fact, Mallory's the one who found out and was like, what? 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 She told me that the humor was definitely up my alley and that we should check them out. So we did in the last three days we've been watching them. And I have to say... Austin Powers is a great series. I really do enjoy it. I, I really liked it a lot. I think my favorite movie after watching all three is still definitely the first one. I think Goldmember comes in as a, a very strong second. And I think the second movie, um, The Spy Who Shagged Me, is probably um, the lowest on the scale to me. Although, to be fair, I, I do think that they are all very, very good movies. After finishing Goldmember tonight, I have to say that my biggest complaint with the movie was that there was no Will Ferrell. <laughs> I know that that's a really weird request, but I really loved his character in the uh, the first and second movies, and I was really hoping for him to make an appearance in the third movie, so I was a little bummed about that, but otherwise, very good movies. My top three comedy movies are probably Ace Ventura, When Nature Calls, Jane Austen's Mafia, and Kung Pao Enter the Fist. Probably not in that particular order. Does the Austin Powers series match up against those three? No, in my opinion. The good series, you know, great movies. I really enjoyed the past three nights watching them with Mao. Um, but I have to say that at the end of the day, um, my, my top three favorites are still, still solid favorites. And if you haven't seen any of those movies, then see them. I know probably most of you have seen, uh, Ace Ventura When Nature Calls. You may not have seen Kung Pao Into the Fist. That movie is fantastic. And probably most of you have never heard of Jane Austen's Mafia. That movie, that movie, whoo, that is an awesome movie. All three of those you should make sure that you see before you die. 
So anyway, yeah, I know, that's it. Uh, I just wanted to talk about that experience because um, I've heard Austin Powers quoted all my life, and I knew it was Austin Powers. I mean, it, it, it was not like I've been in this void and I didn't know that such a thing existed. Um, I mean, I, I knew about Austin Powers. It's just nothing I never went out of my way to watch. I didn't really know mu much what it was about. Um, but I, after these three nights, I have to say it is a very enjoyable series, and I'm curious to see what you guys think. Which movies have you seen? What did you think of them? Um, try to keep the spoilers to a bare minimum if you can, just for the people who haven't seen them. But really, if you haven't seen them, they're, they're really great movies. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. I'm going to go jump in bed, but I wanted to add one last thing. Um, the questions and answers video that we put up yesterday, you guys have already started leaving comments, and I have to say, it's going to be hard to pick and choose what to answer, because honestly, what I've been reading just since you guys started leaving comments, there are so many questions I want to answer. You guys are asking really good questions. I mean, I don't know what it is about this round of questions, but there's so many I'm reading, I'm like, yeah, I want to answer that. Yeah, I want to answer that too. And uh, I don't know, the, the Q&A video for November might be a little longer than normal, because you guys are asking some really good questions. So with all that being said, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? Get in my belly! That was bad, too. These are all bad. I should not be allowed to do impressions.